Have you ever wondered how much the sun truly influences our lives? From witnessing the birth of our planet to the rise and fall of civilizations, the sun has seen it all. But did you know that its recent activity could cause problems for us here on Earth? With solar flares and eruptions surpassing predictions, what might this mean for our technology and the delicate balance of our planet? Join me as we explore the captivating secrets of the sun and delve into the mysteries that lie beyond the mesmerizing blue sky. Are you ready to uncover the untold story of our ever-watchful celestial companion? Welcome to Revel Discovery, your portal to a world of fascinating discoveries and awe-inspiring insights that will expand your understanding of the universe and beyond. You know, the sun has been there for every single thing that has happened in our solar system. It's seen the birth of our planet, witnessed the emergence of our moon, and even observed the rise and fall of various species throughout history. It's like the ultimate spectator, silently documenting the formation of kingdoms, the fall of empires, and creation of countries on our world map. And you know what? It's not just that. The sun holds evidence of every promise made by lovers and every adorable coup from a child. It's truly a witness to the entire cosmic scheme of things. But you know what's interesting? The sun is not just a bystander. It actually plays a significant role in the origin of life on Earth. It's like the central character of our planetary story. And you want to hear something mind-boggling? Even when our time comes to an end, the sun will still be there, watching as our planet turns to ashes. It's kind of poetic, don't you think? Now, here's something NASA has been keeping an eye on. Lately, the sun has been quite active which might cause a few problems for us Earthlings. You see, while the solar cycle is not yet at its peak, NASA says that solar activity has already exceeded their predictions. That means we can expect more solar flares and eruptions until around 2025, as we head towards the solar maximum. Nicola Fox, the director of NASA's Heliophysics Division, explained that the Sun goes through a natural 11-year cycle shifting from a relatively calm state to a more turbulent one known as the solar maximum. During this active phase, the sun gets freckled with sunspots, and its magnetic poles reverse. It's a pretty fascinating phenomenon. But here's the catch. Such solar activity can have effects here on Earth. Let me take you back to a remarkable event that happened way back in history. Picture this. It's September 1st, 1859 and two English amateur astronomers, Richard Christopher Carrington and Richard Hodgson, are gazing at the sun. And guess what? They recorded the earliest observations of a solar flare. Can you believe that? They noticed something called a geomagnetic solar flare effect using a magnetometer at the Kew Observatory. And the very next day, they witnessed a geomagnetic storm. Carrington, being the smart guy he was, suspected that a solar terrestrial interaction was about to happen. And boy, was he right! On September 2, 1859, one of the most intense geomagnetic storms in recorded history hit us, a storm 10 times stronger than anything we had experienced before. We now call it the Carrington Event. It was like fireworks in the sky. There were incredible displays of colorful auroras seen all around the world. But you know what else? The storm caused some serious trouble too. It sparked fires in telegraph stations and created chaos in the global communication network at the time. This intense geomagnetic storm was most likely the result of a coronal mass ejection from the sun colliding with Earth's magnetosphere. And guess what? It happened a few months before the solar maximum of that particular cycle. Can you imagine the impact it would have had if it happened today? Widespread electrical disruptions, blackouts, and damage to the power grid. It's mind-blowing, isn't it? Fast forward to more recent times. On October 2, 2022, NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory captured an image of a strong solar flare emitted by the Sun. It was classified as an X1 flare, one of the most intense types out there. And here's the crazy part. It happened 160 years after the Carrington event. We're once again heading towards the solar maximum, where solar flares are frequent, strong, and potentially catastrophic if they hit Earth. But here's the thing. Even before we get to the solar maximum, the sun has already been surprising us with its hot temper. And let me tell you, it's causing some trouble for our technology and satellites. Imagine relying more and more on technology and satellites, only to have them disrupted by solar activity. It's a bit concerning, right? 
Remember that X1 solar flare I mentioned earlier? Well, it might have caused some disruptions, like messing with hurricane response efforts and even creating radio blackouts. That's not all. GPS positioning could have been affected too. And there was another milder flare that followed, causing yet another radio blackout. It's like the sun was having a grand cosmic party, don't you think? Both of these flares originated from a sunspot, which is basically an area on the sun's surface with intense magnetic activity. This particular sunspot was named AR-3110 and was accompanied by a coronal mass ejection, a burst of magnetic particles from the sun's upper atmosphere. And get this, those two plasma clouds might be headed our way after a couple of earlier coronal mass ejections. As if that wasn't enough, we've got a stronger-than-usual solar wind blowing towards Earth from a coronal hole. It's like a double whammy. All these factors combined mean that we might be in for a noticeable geomagnetic storm in the coming days. Exciting and a bit nerve-wracking, right? Now, let's address a common concern. Some people worry that a massive solar flare could release enough energy to destroy our beloved Earth. But fear not, my friend. NASA has clarified that such a doomsday scenario is not possible. Who? Solar cycles repeat every 11 years, which means that if you're older than 11, you've already lived through a solar maximum without even realizing it. So no need to panic. The Sun, despite being at the center of our solar system, still holds many secrets that science is trying to uncover. And you know what's exciting? Solving these mysteries could give us insight into the peculiar activities observed in other stars and provide us with priceless information. That's why we've sent numerous missions to study the Sun and understand its dynamics better. One of the latest missions is the Solar Orbiter spacecraft, a joint effort of the European Space Agency and NASA. Its goal is to gather detailed measurements of the Sun's heliosphere and observe its polar regions. It's like we're trying to get to know our star on a deeper level. Pretty cool, huh? So while most days the sun does its job quietly, providing us with a consistent and predictable amount of heat and light, as we enter the 25th solar cycle, things are bound to get hotter, literally. Just like the sun affects Earth's weather, its heightened activity can also create disturbances in our space environment and atmosphere. That's why it's essential to keep an eye on these solar events. You never know when they might affect us. But hey, don't worry too much. We've been through this before, and we'll get through it again. So let's embrace the marvels of our sun and its fascinating journey through the cycles of life beyond the beautiful blue sky. Have you ever stopped to wonder about the immense power of the sun and its impact on our world? What secrets do you think this radiant star holds? And how might its recent activity shape our future? Engage with us by leaving a comment, subscribing to our channel, and clicking the notification bell for regular updates. Keep watching, stay inspired, and get ready for more exciting discoveries. See you in our next episode.